when I tore my ACL, uh, I was at the last day of our tryouts for the varsity team, and um, I just talked to Coach. She just told me that I made the team. I lunged one way, and I just uh, fell. I heard a big crack, and I just was crying, and I couldn't even walk for a couple days after that. When you see someone go down, you think, oh, wow, like that could be me. That I could have done that to my knee. Like You definitely think about it. You worry about it, like, especially with ACL injuries. Like You could be out for six months, a year, you never play as well as you did before. And it's definitely something really serious you need to keep in mind. Well, ACL injuries are probably the, the most, one of the most common serious knee injuries we see. And it's one of the injuries that we know has a dramatic impact with regards to the patient's ability to participate, the length of time they're going to be out of their sport, the length of time it takes to recover. Um, most of these athletes lose at least a season. And depending on where the injury falls, they could lose part or most of the next season as well. So the, the um, PEP program that we're working on is trying to give these young female athletes a retraining of their muscles, if you will, and working on some of the things that have been identified as contributors to increased incidence of injury, such as the quad, quadriceps to hamstring ratio, working on their core stability, working on the proprioceptive or the reflex ability of their muscles to kind of catch the knee joint if it's in an position at risk for ACL tear. Really act like you're jumping over something. Good. It's a workout. It's definitely something that you have to learn and you have to get better at. The first time going into it, learning some of the bounding and the jumps, it, it takes a couple tries to get the right technique. But once you, get, once you figure it out, you, you notice the difference. You notice it's helping. We do a lot of lunges in PEP, and I think that definitely helps with like your knee alignment, making sure you're not going in or out, and I think your body just remembers that after a while. Up, down, up, and down. Sit back more a little bit. It's not just about kicking and running. It's about being strong and being ready, because obviously when you go to play college, it's even more competitive, and the demands on your body are even more, so you really have to be prepared physically. So A little bit slower. There you go. Stay nice and low. The, the injury prevention program that we're implementing to the Monroe County um, high schools has been funded by the, the Greater Rochester Health Foundation. Um, and it's being implemented at 26 Monroe County high schools. And again, for varsity and junior varsity athletes participating in soccer, basketball, and volleyball. And I think totals almost 1,300 athletes this, this year. So we've just completed our first calendar year with the program. and. We've had five non-contact uh, ACL tears. Uh, so in the context of 1,300 athletes participating in the highest demand sports, that's a pretty low number. Um, some studies report 1.5 to 2 ACL tears per 100 participating athletes. Um, so again, at least anecdotally, our first year experience has been very strong. I think, I mean, I hope, I mean, I wish all the teams at every high school were to be able to do it because I mean I know only soccer like did it for me but softball we don't do it or anything so I was I mean I, I really think it would help if like every team were to do it because then I think there would be even less injuries because I've just seen so many people walking around the school that are just with those same knee braces on because they've had those same surgeries and it's I think it could be prevented if every team were to do PEP or at least lessened. The goal of the program was to try to target the younger athlete get them trained, let them have a program that they can take with them from their high school to their collegiate career and even to their recreational sports, uh, but try to provide them with a framework with which they can kind of get themselves in the best condition to do their sports with the lowest risk of injury. I hope to take it with me to college because I'd hate to get to college and then get hurt and miss the next four years of playing.